Welcome to Indonesia. Hello, welcome to another traveling solo log. It's me solo back at you with another video about Indonesia. So I was recently in Indonesia for about one month. So I want to give you my honest opinion about being in Indonesia as an American traveler and just, you know, let you know how it is just to be in Indonesia, just in case if you do want to travel there. So as always, please smash the like button and subscribe and let's just jump in it. So first of all, let me give you some facts about Indonesia, just in case if you don't know about it. Indonesia is located in Asia. It's one of the most populous countries in the world. It's actually ranks as number four. It has around 280 million people. Yes, that's a lot of people. And also, the country has many islands. It has about 17,500 islands. So there's a lot of islands, a lot of things to explore. Most of the people identify themselves as Muslim. Around 87% of people identify themselves as Muslim. And then the rest, 13%, identify them as other religions such as Buddhists, Hindus, Christianity, and other religions. It does have a lot of ethnic groups to it too. I heard it has around 600 different ethnic groups. Just a lot of things to explore about the country. When I was in Indonesia, I went to one of the largest islands there called the Java Island, and I went to the capital city called Jakarta. If you don't know Jakarta. Jakarta also has millions of people. It's estimated that it has around 11 million people. In order to arrive to Indonesia, let me talk to you about it real quick. That depending what country you're from, you could possibly get a visa upon arrival. I'm from America and I got a visa upon arrival. Depending on what country you're from, you might want to check online and just see if you can obtain a visa upon arrival. And the visa upon arrival is valid for 30 days. So that's what I got. And I, I paid for it around 500,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is around 30 some dollars. I'll put the price on the screen. See, that's what I got as an American. So when I went from the airport, you have some a few options to go from Jakarta airport to the city center. You can take a train, you can take a bus, or you take a taxi, depending what you want to do. I'd say the fastest and the most efficient way to go from Jakarta airport to Jakarta city center is to uh, take a train. Because Jakarta does get very busy with traffic jams. And so you can be stuck in traffic for an hour, two hours, just depending what time you arrive in Jakarta. So keep that in mind. A lot of traffic jams in the city. So let me talk to you about a little bit about my experience. So when I was in Jakarta, I stayed in a hotel. Around a three-star hotel, I paid around $15 on average per night. And you can see from the video, it's a pretty nice hotel, spacious. It was next to the National Monument that you can see over here is a pretty nice monument. So I advise you, if you do go to Jakarta because of the traffic jams, come somewhere in the city center. There are parts of the city that were very developed, very new, nice big malls. And there's also some parts of the city that wasn't really developed. So in Jakarta, you kind of get like the best of like both worlds in a way. Like you see developed parts and undeveloped parts. Well, let me talk to you about the transportation in Jakarta real quick. So getting around Jakarta could be a little bit hectic because you know, you don't want to be caught up in traffic. What I did most of the time was I used Grab, which is similar to Uber that I just booked a grab and you can either book a motorbike. I advise you do a motorbike if you're one person. Maybe it's not as safe, but it's a lot faster because you just weave through traffic or you get a grab car. If you don't want to do that and you want to take public transportation, they have buses, they have a new metro system that runs from the center of the city to the southern part of the city. Uh, they have uh, other metros too that runs certain parts of the city as well. So they have a lot of public transportation, but just keep in mind, that Jakarta is known for its traffic. I know I said traffic a lot, but if you, maybe you want to go distance like two, three kilometers, you might be stuck in the car for like 20 minutes. So that's something to keep in mind. I want to talk to you about like Indonesians in general of how I felt being in the country. The people were friendly. I had a good time there. Every person I met for the most part were friendly, but keep in mind, it's a very populated country and also city. So Jakarta, you have to watch out for your safety. So if you have like some valuables with you just make sure it's like securely in your pocket and if you're riding the public transportation maybe you want to put your backpack in front of you because uh the people are very friendly for the most part but you know just because it's a big city any big city you just have to watch out for your belongings the food the food is amazing they have this one thing called satay which is like barbecued meat and you get like barbecued meat like chicken or beef i went with the chicken which is called satay am so delicious and I went to one street vendor, I paid about like less than $2 for some like 10 chicken skewers of barbecue meat with some rice. It has that peanut sauce, oh, so good. They also have a nice dessert food, street food called Murtabak, 
So I advise you guys try it out. So uh, Jakarta or, or even Indonesia has a lot of different types of foods, street foods to try out and very affordable prices. I also tried out their one of their famous national dishes called nasi udak, which I paid I think around like four dollars for that. A little bit on the pricier side, but for me as being American, it wasn't that pricey. So that in Indonesia, they have a lot of affordable prices. If I want to talk to you about how I like being in Indonesia, I thought it was nice. Jakarta is a massive city, lots of things to do. They had a lot of different shopping malls. I was impressed. They had like this one wholesale shopping mall that I showed you guys too and all, all the things that I'm telling you guys just go to the videos on my channel and you have more of like a description of like how certain things are in Jakarta if you do come to Indonesia I, I advise you go to Jakarta which is the capital city which I went to and then also go to Bali which is a beautiful island unfortunately this time I wasn't able to go to Bali and other places in Indonesia and if you're from Indonesia let people know down below what areas should they explore because it's a massive country and, and even like one of the islands called Borneo Island, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's uh, borders with Malaysia and also Brunei. So if you go to Indonesia, there's a lot of things to see. A lot of, you know, if you want to go to the neighboring countries, you go to the neighboring countries. Just, uh, I, I had a good time there. I plan on going back to Indonesia pretty soon. I don't know when exactly, but if I do go back there, I'd love to check out more of the islands. I heard they have Komodo Island, which is famous for the Komodo Dragon, if you don't know. Yeah, there's just so many different islands. So if you like island life and see a lot of nature and stuff, Indonesia is the place to go to. And also they do have a lot of, you know, major cities. And in a nutshell, I think Indonesia is a friendly country, affordable. One dollar equals around 15,000 of their money. So you could get meals for like two dollars. Accommodation was pretty reasonable, about three star hotel, $15 a night. If you're wondering how much I spent there, I spent around... I'd say in one month I spent around $800, which is pretty reasonable for me being a traveler. Some countries I spend a lot more, some countries a little bit less, but yeah, $800. So uh, if you're from Indonesia, let me know more facts about the country. Let us know in the comment section down below. And that's all I want to cover real quick. Just a quick little video. As always, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, guys.